that is yes the final stage in the race Yours truly, the monster has DNF'd as well as beloved car to add to that list in stage two. So the 48, the 27, the 42, and the 13 all with DNFs. And that gives the five to three, the 25, the 20, the 22, the two, the 31, the nine, the 16, the 24, the 33, and the 34. The chance to win the Daytona 500 brought to you by Paintbrush Paints. Now everyone's gonna be a little confused because I did not invert the order, but you know what? They're gonna live with it. Here we go, green flag racing once again at Daytona. 50 more laps in the stage. down in the infield. And that brought out the caution. Oh, and the two car has just rolled it. So we got a lot of stuff going on here. So let's first take a look at what you saw. And that's the two car who carelessly and recklessly rolled his car and so let's see if we can get a glimpse e no just barely he just barely survives 90 percent engine damage incredible lone paintbrush i believed involved in that wreck he comes out unscathed vogel elliott we saw involved in that wreck he's going to be able to continue speedy doesn't look like he's involved. No, only engine damage. And so uh, that's what we have going on right there. Slothy, so very fortunate. That mistake could have been the end uh, to his race. To get back up to the front, look who's leading the race. Hot seat driver, Ghost Train, up front here at Daytona. Ghost Train saw a third place finish, his highest finish here in Daytona so far in the last stage. And that SpaceX race is or race car looking to get to victory lane. If you remember, SpaceX was the sponsor he was running in the previous season. Uh, when he was with the 8 for Cookie Monster Racing, now with Hendrick Motorsports, brings that sponsor over to, motor, to Hendrick Motors, continues to run with it in that 25 ride. So what a privilege for him to be able to do. And pit Road's open this time by. We'll see takers for this long stage here at Daytona. Speed B looks like he's committed to pit Road. He is going to be someone who's going to be headed down pit road as we speak. Other drivers, so we get to uh, see if we can get a screenshot here of what is going on here. A lot of drivers, a lot of takers down pit road. There's the nine of all guns down pit road. Uh, 33 actually decides to stay out. We know the two is down pit road. You only have about six drivers that decide to stay out. Ghost train jab, fractured. Staying out. Swift in the 31. Staying out. So all these drivers getting max points. What an excellent opportunity for these guys to get max points. And you're really going to see the points difference take shape here. And the story so far of the Daytona 500 is just how dismal a start the 27 has gotten to this season. Uh, uh, electronic failure takes him out of stage one. He gets, yes, a three stage points three points that's it and then in stage two dnf and out of stage two that gives him a total of uh eight 
points for the Daytona 500. Eight. Uh, so just put this in perspective. If, uh, let's say the 16 car, shall we? Let's say um, the 16 of Dunker. Uh, he's finished, he's gotten 10 points in stage one. He's got 18 points in stage two. That's 28 total points. Um, you think about the margin that's going to have to be um, gotten here or, or overcome here. It's going to be really, really tough uh, for Cookie. But um, the road to the championship is not always the easiest. It's definitely hard. It's definitely going to be hard. So we're going to have to see what these guys can do out here on the racetrack. The double foul and preparing to go green, or at least it looked like they were double foul. Uh, if not, then that means pit road is open one more time. It is. It looked like you got some peekers as far as takers to pit road. Jab in that 20 for Joe Gibbs Racing. Joe Gibbs, I know, happy to have some some cars race for for that manufacturer. They it's been a long time since we've seen Toyotas out on a racetrack. This has been a Chevy Ford dominant field. Toyota finally getting some action here in the in the result or in the uh, hands of, of Jab here to bring home something that's going to help build some team points for this manufacturer. Now, once again, there are several drivers in this field that are not locked into the series. They are hot seat drivers. So what is a hot seat driver? What does this mean? What this means is they will be the ones called that will be able to earn points if indeed there is a need to fill in spots that are available this league is a 16 man race league so let's say we prepare to race and only 12 cars are uh, prepared to race these hot seat drivers will be ones that are called to fill those spots before the field goes green now what is a hot seat driver able to do well, he is able to earn points for his team. He's able to earn points for himself. He will be listed as a driver in KMR. And how does a hot seat driver lock into the regular season? He either wins or overtakes a driver that is not a driver that finished in the top six from the previous year. So that's right, any driver outside of the top six can be uh, bumped out of the regular running roster, replaced by one of these hot seat drivers. It's done by points. So not this race, not after Daytona, but after the three races next week, coming to that next race, we could have a new driver enter into KMR. It's just that simple. Here we go, green flag, lap 450 in the race. Three wide in the back. The 24 trying to squeeze it in through the middle, making a risky move. And there's the spin. The five, and it looked like the nine car was involved in that. Let's see what we got here. He gets himself together. Um, some damage to that five car, but obviously nothing that's going to take him out of the race. Let's see about all guns. Absolutely no damage there. What about Ender James? Any damage to that 34? Obvious transmission damage and a caution is out. A caution is out. Now, there's been a lot of uh, adjustments to KMR from the last season to this season. So we'll go over some of the adjustments briefly while this race is under caution. And while we're talking about cautions, that's one of the biggest adjustments in KMR. Um, what it cla what classifies as a caution. Now, obviously, we've had many cautions. Each time there's a race that goes on, we will review the footage of each race uh, to see if cautions were called appropriately. And if there is deemed a false caution, then a points penalty will be provided uh, in KMR. Now, of course, due to the fact we got quite a few new drivers and quite a few new rules, 
this Daytona race will not be one of those races. But starting next week, uh, there will be penalties for uh, illegal caution. So what's an illegal caution? An illegal caution is when there is, or what is a legal caution is easier to explain. A legal caution is when there are three or more, that's right, three cars or more involved in that wreck. Um, that is a caution. Or if there is a single car wreck or a two car wreck, that endangers the field. That's when a caution happens. So would you say that the wreck that happened just a few minutes ago was a legal caution? According to what we saw in the footage, only two cars spun and wrecked in that race or in that wreck. It was toward the end. So would we say that that's a caution? No, it is should not have been a legal caution because of that. Now, if someone DNF'd, DNFs automatically bring out the caution. So that may have been what happened. We'll have to pay close attention to the field to determine whether that was indeed the case. So far, it doesn't look like that's the case, which means that was an illegal caution. Uh, KMR still learning these guys still learning the rules as they go along again some leniency will be shown to these guys for the Daytona 500 but after that no leniency will be shown in this regard so these guys got to get on the ball when it comes to learning these new rules that are provided and if you want to check out anything con dealing with KMR you want to check out www.thegamingriff.com Riff spelled with two F's. We're on lap seven of 50 so far. Your race leader, Ghost Train, and he's led about every lap of this last stage. Really got to get going. Fracture Chain breathing down his tailpipes right now in second place. Another adjustment to KMR has been the points. And uh, last season, there was a one point difference between the uh, leaders and those that uh, were um, uh, in the uh, other positions. Um, a one point difference between first and second, a one point difference between second and third, and so forth. That gap has been increased to five points. There's a five point difference between first and second, and so forth. It used to be last season a DNF would get you zero points for that race. Now a DNF will get you 10 points. Or rather, excuse me, five points. It used to be that a lag out would get you a last place finish and last place for last position was about one point. Well, actually now it's 10 points for the last three positions. So a lot of changes here and changes in the way the team points are calculated. It used to be that a DNF will get your team zero team points. That is no longer the case. It used to be, it used to be where it used to be a set standard of rules for each category involving team points. That is no longer the case. Now team points are awarded by your team's finishes on a racetrack. So. If you have, uh, let's say, uh, for example, Penske Racing, uh, let's say Fractures finishes third and Slothy finishes fourth, well then that team will amass the points of that position and that will be their total for team points. So we'll see high points values in both regular points as well as team points, uh, which should make it interesting. Still possible. Uh, to be racy with the points, every position still matters, uh, but even more so uh, uh, will the, these races um, be about taking care of your car and finishing every position. It'll be so easy to get left behind by uh, what uh, these points here. We have someone who is lagged out of the race, and that is the 31 of Swift. Not good. He's lagged out and um, out of this stage, and so he'll finish uh, last place in this stage. And 
We got some cars slow on the racetrack on the double up lap. I do not know what that is about. But let's see if we can get some information here on what's going on. There is some damage, uh, slight damage to the two. Um, don't know why that damage is there. Let's see if we can find out what else is going on because Paintbrush is back there and he's he's got some damage. So evidently they're gonna go around again here in KMR. A lot of uh, the KMR has seen an influx of a lot of talent to come in. A lot of former champions returning to the series. Uh, the qualifier results today very very interesting as uh, white the white hammer a five-time series champion destroyer a one-time series champion dunker a one size one-time series champion and slothy a one-time series champion all return to KMR on the full-time schedule they will run both the N15 and FM6 charters So this time we're going to try to come to the green. It's going to be going green at lap 10. We're going to ride along with Pooch for the restart as he restarts 10th on the grid. Here we go, green back in the air. Who's being really aggressive so far, trying to get back up to the front. Oh, we rode along with that bumper glitch. No damage to the five whatsoever. What a big deal that was. Wow. Go back up to Dunker. He's riding fifth place. Former rookie of the year, former series champion. Made KMR history when he came joined the league. He was one of the rare drivers to win in his rookie season, the second to do so at KMR when it was done by him. Came back, ran a pro year, and henceforth, uh, the, and then after that, disappeared off the KMR universe. Is making his debut return now. Side by side with the Deuce. He's got help. That's the nine of all guns. Going to push. Dunker right on by. That's the battle for sixth. And he gets it. And in the meantime, as he pulls uh, all guns around, this group up front, really, really racy. This is a big group up here of uh, primetime drivers. Lone Paintbrush being one of those drivers. Fractured Chain is your leader at the 500. Team Penske leading the race. Here is Speedy and the three of Paintbrush, all that is left of RCR at this point in time. Chasing that chain around the 500. Fractured has to be ecstatic to be around here, but he's got a long way to go. If he's gonna bring home a checkered flag. Speedy playing cat and mouse. Commitment up high as RCR looks to work together. They're gonna try to get around. There's a 33. 
Fracture coming up to try to side draft off the 33. Speedy is just taking the lead. No! And then Rex. And then Rex. He is good. They recover. Wow, what a close one there. What a close one there. No damage to either one of these cars. That was scary, but what does that mean? The paintbrush is your leader. Lone Paintbrush, closest finish in the Daytona 500, second to Cookie. Two seasons, or actually three seasons back, finishing second in the 500 and is second in the night race, looking to change all of that and finish uh, first, his very first 500 victory. Jab in second. Jab has his experience here at Daytona as well. And then of course, Fracture leads the train back up to the front and they are coming quickly. A quarter of the way done here with this race. We got some scuffling there back in the back. So tough to get anything going. These points mean so much as we see the two car dropping like a fly back in the pack here. And what a big deal to sponsor the Daytona 500 when asked about how, what that meant to him. It said, he said it meant everything to him to sponsor the 500. And he's doing just that. Paintbrush making it happen right now and Jab is is gonna wait patiently now. If you remember, uh, Jab won the championship in KMR on a similar style race here, not with stages, uh, but uh, was racing Cookie, or rather Paintbrush was the leader. Uh, Fracture was running second, ended up taken out of that race um, by an unfortunate wreck between the 31 to 27 that collected them and Jab was able to get a win and that was under the night race never in KMR has he won the Daytona 500 though he would love to do that and lock himself into the series let's see what happens here and while they duel and tango let's go back to fractured chain with that scary moment with speedy and they have tag team and they are trying to push their way up to the leaders that's third and fourth place respectively the 22 and the 33. And they have caught the leaders. They are there. Uh, they are they are there. And uh, running really, really well. Uh, Fractured Chain, it was uh, told uh, or reported on that Fractured Chain signed a two-year deal with to remain with Team Penske. What an ama what a big uh, big deal that was. He was contemplating retirement at some at one point and now looking to continue his career at least one more season. The final season, a player option, which means he has the option to decline the final year and walk away from Penske and go to another team. Um, or or quite simply just hang up the racing shoes. We don't know what he's going to do coming in here. Also, he comes in with an arm injury. It was reported on that he got, got an arm injury the day before, or rather yesterday, and he is driving basically with one hand trying to keep that thing going. So in a measure of pain, running third. We talk about Fracture Chain's averages so far here in the 500 stage one. He finished ninth. Stage two, he finished fifth, and right now running third here in the 500. Could possibly be someone who is able to win the Daytona 500 if he puts himself in the right spot. We'll keep an eye on him as time goes on. Let's go back in the pack here. Someone very, very hot to start this uh, series, and it's kind of cool to all some Vogel Elliott in the, in the five. 
kind of by himself right now kind of running he's got two cars behind him that's seven and eleventh it looks like um so possibly a driver who has uh pitted now coming out and racing and uh boba elliott uh running his line with no one to draft with him he had a seventh and eleventh respectively goes train to lap down um speed b running for position with that help well, with Elliott, it won't be long before, with that help from Speed B, he'll be able to overtake um, his teammate and uh, or possibly work with him. Hendrick Motorsports get hooked up. They may be able to get to, a front, to the front, but a lot of these drivers waiting for that caution to come out for them to get back up to the field. Check out eighth place Dunkerwiz riding in that Roush Racing Ford. Um, right now just riding that's all you can do right now riding hoping for that caution to come out well, with the field so spread out and with only 11 cars to finish so far it's going to be interesting as we're they're about to get lapped they're going to go a lap down he's going to go a lap down if he cannot indeed find someone to draft with so it's an amazing deal here uh for these guys to look at cars that are lapped down how about Slothy and the two that was running so very well earlier on, um, not even with a splitter. <laughs> and as you can see, there's absolutely no one around him. There's absolutely no one there. Nobody there. Uh, no one around him. Ghost Train is the only driver ahead of him or behind uh, that he is ahead of. Obviously, he would get the lucky dog in this case. Um, before uh, anyone else. How about the nine of all guns? Really, his day really turning south very quickly. But well, one good thing he can take away from this is the fact that indeed he does get points for each stage. So he has to be happy about that as there are drivers that are not getting points for their stages. How about Dunker? Um, going a lap down now. So Dunker in the lucky dog position and uh, we will see whether he'll be able to continue. Uh, well, I hadn't went a lap down yet, but once he goes a lap down, we'll be able to see if he can get back in it. Now these leaders up here, they're gonna have to work really, really hard to get around um, the lap traffic here to prevent themselves from losing a lot of time because if they lose too much time, that chain back there with that driver is going to find their way right on back up. That orange and black 22 is coming. We're halfway, coming to the halfway point of the final stage of the Daytona 500. Um, still a lot of patience. Um, and here we go, as they go on the inside to try and get it done. Now the thing about Jab is he doesn't want to lose the draft. Dunker could definitely come back down and separate these two drivers. He decides not to very wisely. And so the question is now, did they lose too much separation trying to go around these, this driver this lap time? We'll see uh, what happens with Fracture Chain. Being patient back there, running their race. That's the key. Putting another driver a lap down here at the Daytona 500. Brought to you by Paintbrush Paint. Want to see more Daytona action? Keep your eye out because KMR will be back at Daytona for the N15 Daytona 500. That will be in a couple weeks. Here comes Fractured and Speedy. They're coming up on the lap traffic now. They go way low below the double yellow. 
to try and make this no they dive to pit road so pit strategy being employed here and let's take a look at what's going on right now in the field strategy department so you know you see that on your screen and um so you know they are playing the strategy a couple laps ago they dive into pit road together which means now just put pressure on the leaders um fracture chain speedy were catching these leaders before they went to pit road now what do these guys do that is the three and the 20 do they go ahead and pit do they try to stay out obviously uh they may decide to pit soon and let's see how things shake up after this running here leaders looking good now we've had a very similar 500 uh several years ago um the this daytona 500 was here and uh, uh it was a straight 50 no stage and this the field got really really spread out all the way to the point where only a red flag was the only thing that brought the field together but once the field was together um cautions breed cautions there were several more before eventually uh, Forte Fortuna brought, brought home that Daytona 500 win. Uh, this time round, what's it going to be? We know that all it takes is a caution, a red flag, a miscue. All it takes is something like that to happen before we see a caution take place. And that caution could be the difference um could make the difference here i'm sure you saw that on your screen that was a car that smacked the wall and that was the seven of darko and that's gonna hurt him bad he's gonna have to pit and repair that damage that's really going to mean a lot with him now he's gonna try to ride it out no he goes to pit road okay and see that's what i'm saying Imagine if he was in front of the leaders, he did that, maybe scares a leader or collects a leader. Now, all of a sudden, a, fra uh, a caution comes out, and now you're talking about a totally different ball game. Leaders still haven't pit yet. As you see on your screen, the fuel is getting close. At what point are they going to pit? It is lap 30 of 50. We're coming on 20 to go in the paintbrush paint state tone of 500. Riding it out like they are. 20 to go. That's right. 2-0 in the Paintbrush Paints Daytona 500. Paintbrush is leading the race in that Paintbrush Paints number three car. With the red, the white, and the blue. He is leading this race, bringing the field around. Uh, and it looks like the, two is, the, the uh, 20 is going to stay put. That could have been an opportunity for him to go get it. We don't know what's up with that. We'll see. The 20 might be getting a little antsy back there as these laps count down. Uh, I can tell you from experience, um, when you're riding back there like that, you see those laps start to tick down. You start to get a little antsy. You're ready to make a move. We could see that indeed happen. And guys, we have a caution. There is a caution out on the racetrack with less than 20 laps to go. And who looks like the sports now? What happened? Uh, we're going to have to pause here for a second. Hey, what happened?
Well, I know he smacked the wall earlier. He wasn't trying to race the leaders. I saw him earlier smack the wall and get damaged, have to go down pit road. I don't know. I wasn't tuning in for anything else that he did, but I know he did that earlier. Did he serve his black flag? Just make him serve the black flag. If he tries, if he tries to do it again, then attack, we'll attack him with aggressive driver. All right. Caution flag is out here at Daytona. The caution charge to the 16. My sources tell me. This changes everything. And look who is running up in the top three. Yes, sir, Rebob, Ender James. We have not talked about Ender at all in that Taco Bell number 34 car. He has been quiet. He has ran very, very quiet. He's ran towards the back. Pit road will be open this time. These guys come in the pit. Um, man, you can't say enough about like what has transpired here now this changes everything ender james is your leader now the lucky dog situation should go to ghost train i'm thinking that's going to get the lucky dog um i i don't know what the situation is on why he hasn't gotten it yet but he will indeed get it let's look at ender james plan that strategy out you can't say enough. Now, he will have to pit. He does not have enough fuel to make it to the end, but he wanted to lead that lap, get that lap led. He's going to pit this time by. He's not going to start in the rear of the field. He's going to be up towards the front. Um, this also keeps the these guys that are a lap down, a lap down. You know, the only person eligible right now for the Lucky Doll, not Ghost Train. I'm sorry, it should be back in black. It should be the two um that gets the lucky dog of slothy um and so typically in kmr what you see is when the precaution first comes out if there's any car that's the first car one lap down they get their lap back first then pit road is open to the field which allows them to pit and that also allows any leaders that are in front of the drivers that are a lap down just cycle through these drivers that are lapped down that get can get the wave around that want the rave around they move up um, they get their wave around and then KMR goes back green flag racing of course that wasn't done this time but that's okay first first race everyone's working out the bugs learning the new system and everything so you give a pass for a lot of the uh, miscues that go on but by mid-season this thing will be running like a well-oiled machine in the meantime I am being told by my sources that the 11 car is charged with a black flag uh, that will be done in the next three races or next, well, next three laps, not next three races, next three laps. Pit road is still open. We're expecting the 34 car to pit. He does not. What a chain of events here. He wants to lead the Daytona 500, guys. This dude wants to do it. Ender James will be on the front row for the Daytona 500. Now, this driver, last time he pit, was very, 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 very early in the race. Other than that, he is not pitted, which means he will have to pit again with 35 or 50 laps. Let's see what happens. He'll start on the outside or inside of Fracture Chain. Fracture Chain, Speedy, Paintbrush and the five or the 20 car of jab in fifth place this is going to be so exciting when we go back green flag racing just what people like pooch and uh speed b and uh, uh some of these other drivers just what the doctor ordered for these guys this is what they needed to happen now they're back in it uh um, it's on is on like Donkey Kong, come into the green flag. Again, this Daytona 500 brought to you by Paintbrush Paints. Do you need Paintbrush Paints? 
having trouble designing the perfect car check out paintbrush loan paintbrush 5 for tips on how to get your car right for the next race Also, guys, stay tuned to our talk show after the Daytona 500, The Speed Report, where Speed B and Speed D will join us in the booth to talk about the qualifier, to talk about the 500, and to talk about where drivers and teams go from here. Preparing to take the green once again. Green flag here, KMR Daytona. Fracture chain dives in behind that number 34 car. Was had some electronic issues early in the race, and as you can see there, the car not quite right, but they're doing everything they can to make it happen. Here goes Fracture to the outside. Gonna think about it. Yes, there he goes to the outside. Gonna try to make that pass. He has help. He has paintbrush. He has Speedy. Gonna try to make that pass. Now, double file. Speedy files back in behind the 34 car. You saw the whole, the whole inside lane there. That 34 all over the place. As he tries to hang on to that lead, he has help. Interchange is gonna continue to lead here at Daytona. Risky biz, though. With the electronic failures like they are, he could uh, have an electronic issue that could drop him back almost three wide coming into turn one and two. Ender James continues to lead. Now keep an eye on the fuel situation. Ender James almost out of fuel is going to have to pit soon right now. Trying to hold on to those duckies three wide. Here comes Speedy in the middle. Speedy makes contact. 34 and 20 and we got to rank the big one. The big one at Daytona. The big one at Daytona. That hurt it. That hurt it did. The 20 car, okay. What a wild ride for him. Uh, that was taken. That was a wild ride. Okay is Dunker. What about Speed B in the 24? Is he okay? No, Speed B is done. Speed B has DNF'd out of the paintbrush paints Daytona 500. And that adds to the DNF list. That hurted it. That hurts very much so. What about back in black? Is he DNF? He just come out of pit road. Car is okay. So yet another casualty out of that that all started really with the worn tires that uh, the 34 had gets loose and um, it stacks up the inside lane and and, and takes out the field and uh, this what a big situation to happen so far speed be dnf'd and uh, that was crazy and let's see if while the uh, field is taking to pit road Let's see if we can uh, uh, get um, uh, Speed B up here. Um, you know, get some report from uh, from him. And we have Speed B in is released from the infield care center. Uh, uh, oh no, Ghost also taken out of this race. It, race. it just gets worse. But we have Speedy in, uh, or um, Speed B in for the infield care center. Um, what happened to you, bud? What'd you see out there? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's just the 34. He was. Uh, he just didn't hold his line. He was all over the place. Caused us to cause the leaders up there to go three wide, then hold his line going into three, and then the 20 got into him, and then I had nowhere to go at that point. It's unfortunate. 
Yeah, you had a, definitely had a good yeah, race going on here, and and that race also resulted in your teammate in the 25 also being taken out. Rough day for Hendrick Motorsports so far. Yes, sir. I'm just hoping the five car just could go pull it off for us here. They seem to be fast this whole race. Get it. Wow, definitely. Well, we look forward to to. Uh, to everything man and we look forward you'll have a lot to talk about for the speed report that's definitely sure yes sir so we have uh, the 33 uh, up front right now here the Daytona 500 and this is where he was last season uh, but the difference is, uh, or hopeful difference, is that he won't make the mistake he made last season, breaking the line, making the move too early, just she out of sheer excitement, makes the wrong move, has to be sent to the rear, giving all guns the Daytona 500 victory. Well, uh, all guns still in the race, but um, this time he's got fractured chain on his outside. At this point in time, fractured chain was out of the race. This time, he has made it this all time. the way to the end. He also has that five car to contend that with, five that five car of Vogel Elliott. And he also has his teammate on the high side there, the three car of Lone Paintbrush. So we're going to have to keep an eye out to see what happens. So 33, 22, 5, 3, and 20 will be your top five. Yeah, you're more than welcome to, to join me in the booth. I have no problems with that. I get tired of talking to myself. Double foul. Double foul. The moment of the race moment of brought the race. to you by Paintbrush Paints. Paint. And that was Speedy making and it that three was wide on the 34. Wide making that pass successful that before, pass the before the caution comes out. Fractured chain doing the squiggly. Doing the squiggly. Electronic failures have Electronic plagued him his whole career. We're hoping that it doesn't plague him at the end of the Daytona 500. Is that sure what it's looking like right now? <laughs> I could trust me here. I know they're going to get racy towards the end considering last year's 500. So. You may expect a lot of wrecks there. In other words, you're saying DNF's not over yet, huh? Yes, sir. Here we go. Coming go. to the green. To the 10 to go in the paintbrush paint state Tona 500. I never went going. I think he bumped it with someone back there. I have no idea. Oh, no. We got a spin back oh. there in the back. Two cars involved in that. Dunker is continuing, right continuing, continuing to struggle. And the caution comes out. Uh, that's it. Dunker uh, is DNF. It. Dunker is done. Yet another DNF to add to okay. this list of drivers. That's the sixth. But maybe and that brings out the caution. Um, uh, that actually might not be because that could have been caused by a bumper glitch to the five level one, and I'm pretty sure he bumped with someone. Behind him, so he already he's already yeah. backed yeah. out, and at any time that there's a DNF oh, or perceived yeah. DNF, it brings out the caution, just by rule. Yeah. Uh, so well, unfortunate for him, he's just had a rough start to the 500. Now, fortunately enough for him, he's locked into the series right now, but those hot seats could definitely change everything, and um, so we'll. we'll We'll see what becometh of uh, this situation. Well, we have we have all guns here running in the back. He's won the 500 last year. Can he go back to back and sneak, make, just do what he did last year and just sneak his way through the at the end and get the win? It's gonna have to do something. It's gonna have to be rather quick. And I'll tell you why. There's a lot of there's a lot of there's a big difference between last season's 500 and this season's 500. For example, a lot of the competition that was that's in this 500 was not there. You still got the five, you got the the, the 22, 
Uh, you've got the 20. Um, these drivers were not there last season. That's a large part of your competition that's either up front or is running in the series, re-debuting um, in the series. You also had a lot of your talent, primary talent, that was stuck in the middle or back of the field due to a previous wreck. So, you know, you, you got some big players, and so who's going to help you get back up to the front? Hopefully you've made some friends. You can't count on the 34. Um, who are you going to count on to get back up there in a hurry? Going to have to do something. I don't think anyone's friends at this point. I think it's just every man for themselves with, with these last 10 laps of this race. Certainly what it looks like. Certainly what it looks like. <laughs> I'm keeping my eye on the five car. He's been up front for the beginning of the race and mid of the race, but then fell back due to bumper glitch, I believe. And I mean, he's got his way up there, but see if he can get to the front. But the 22, trust me, I know he wants to win this 500. He's like, that's one thing he wants to get off his list. So I know he's not going to be giving it up easy. He comes down the pit road, he doesn't move. We are coming so close. I'm sure Fracture can taste the victory right now, but not so fast. Remember, it's Daytona. Anything can happen. Anything that can happen does happen. For example, some drivers have pitted. Now, all of a sudden, Pooch has moved up a spot. Uh, now, all of a sudden, Ender James goes back to the pack. Now, all of a sudden, Lone Paintbrush has moved to second. Um, things are going to get really, really interesting in a hurry. Uh, so let's recap you so far. We've had three stages so far. Stage one, we saw Slothy get stage one victory um, and uh, do really well. Speedy also second on an awesome move there coming to the end of the stage. And of course, Swift finished third. Um, we had one DNF in that stage, and that was the 48 who didn't last a half of a corner. Then we go to stage two. The five of Pooch gets to victory lane or to for that stage or wins that stage and maxes out in points. He finished fourth in the previous stage. And now we're here in the final stage where Daytona 500 champions are born. Will we get our first time champion fracture to victory lane? Will we have a first time champion paintbrush? Or will we have a repeat champion in the 33? Uh, man, anything can happen here. That's why we run, run KMR. Imagine if we had a white flag shootout on the final lap of this thing. Yeah, and that's what we came down to last year, and came out with some uh, an underdog in the race, actually, due to a penalty uh, 33 car. But yeah, it's really frustrating, like, from my point of view, having, like, to get the dual win and then going into the race, struggled all race ever since the beginning, the first lap, and just ended with a wreck, so... Here we go. Restart. Green flag. Great restart by the five. I guess Thursday doesn't get going. Watch out for the five. He's got to run on those leaders side by side. Wow. Just like that. Here wow, comes Pooch and Fracture Chain. Better be very scared. But nice sap side drafting is at three. He's doing everything he can. Five is just watching him now. He's in the cap for seat. Anything that happens with two of those leaders, he's in the right side. We saw the 33 of Speedy up towards the front more. He was in a position. He's done. Oh, my goodness. Wild ride and a caution. And Pooch hits before the caution comes out. Interesting. Wow. And there's... Wow. I'm pretty sure. And no. Sloppy is also done. And the 33 is done. 
the two needs to DNF. He has 100% engine. I don't know if he's trying to fake it right now or what. Up. And no, the to and the two, done. you say it? Yes, sir. He has 100 engine. Oh yeah, the two is done. Yeah. The two car is done. We lost car. more cars out of this race. Incredible. We have five cars left in this race. Wow. That's what we all thought it was going to happen. Wow. Uh, they better not let Saucy get away with that. I mean, barely see him right now. DNF. Oh, no, he's DNF. Hey, oh, no. hey, he ain't getting away from it. He's he's done. Wow. Um, wow, wow, wow. I don't wow. Why I'm missing Sweetie right now. Let me get him now. Just. Yo, know, I'll tell you what. It makes it easy when it comes to scorekeeping right now. It makes it real easy to keep score. Because I don't have to write a lot. Uh, the six, the uh, two car is completely DNF. Needs to back out. Uh, he needs to be done with this race. Caution is out, and man, time is running out here on these drivers uh, right now. That's it's just getting it's getting intense. Five cars. This is kind of sad from an owner's perspective to come out here with. Some brand new race cars to race the 500 and come back with like one or maybe even zero left. Yeah. Yeah. And I started with four cars. I lost three already. Hopefully, make my day. Five can get it done, but you know. Only one car to represent RCR as well. And that is the three car of Lone Paintbrush. Oh God. The nine yeah. represents uh, 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 RPM, and so here we go at the end of this thing. And now all guns may actually have a shot here to do something. That took out a lot of the competition there. Um, I don't see the that twenty of uh, jab. I see. That means that jab is out. Smart move by the five car to come in last second before the caution comes out is now he has fresher tires and those leaders up there in the front row and he knows behind them they all wreck so i think he's going to be probably with those fresh tires might have something to play with it these last couple laps that is absolutely true that is absolutely true oh my goodness Pull those seatbelt tight one more time, guys. We started KMR <laughs> Paintbrush Paints Daytona 500 with 16 drivers. We have six. Five. We have five. Five. Uh, <laughs> amazing. It's yeah, still not over yet. No, it is not. No, it is not. We're getting ready to restart. Getting ready to go green. Here we go. Green, green, green. Great restart by the three. 34 gets an amazing shove. Three out front now. And 22 back to the inside. And Fracture going to try to hang yes, on to it, but I'll tell you something. That number five car is very, very experienced. The three car falls in line with him. Yes, sir. Uh, here, we got Speedy joining us up in the booth now. Uh, he has the three to his inside. Yep, and Speedy gonna join us, Speedy Driver joining us right now and uh, released from the Enfield Care Center. You took a wild ride. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm all right, unfortunately. Just a unlucky shot. I was dealing with a few calls I had to make as an official and lost a little, just got a little distracted and got clipped. Man, that was a crazy race. It's been a crazy race so far. Welcome to the, the uh, booth, Speedy. We're coming to three to go. Coming to the mark of no more cautions here. Um, the 49, uh, the, the 22, and here comes the three. The 34 is pushing him. The five car is pinned on the high side. He falls back. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to think right now. I Fracture think the three needs to, to back. Hang on to this thing for dear life. 
Two, two to, go. to go. Two laps remaining. The three needs to back off from the 22 and get a shell from the 34. That's, I feel like that's going to be one of his better chances of getting this one. He's got He's no more cautions at this point, so whatever happens, happens. Here comes the three with the run. Here comes the 34 now. What can they do? 34 going to hop out. Probably not the <laughs> best idea the because that does two things. That pins the three on the low side, and then, of course, the 34 has no one to work with. He goes to the back. Yeah, he has the five going with him, but the 34 doesn't want it. Here goes the three. What does he have left for the 22? White flag fractured chain. Here comes that nine. I'm telling you, you don't lift now. It's all over. Two more corners. Two more corners for Fracture to be able to win the Daytona 500. Something he has never done in his career in KMR. Can he win it? Here comes Paintbrush on the inside. He's got to try to do something. He's running out of time. Two corners. Yeah, I think it's only two's got it. It's going to have to be something on the straightaway, guys. Fracture Chain gets a little bit of time, a little bit of distance, and it's going to be Fracture. And he Fracture wins, wins it. the Daytona 500 and they're With the in the big back. wreck at the end. <laughs> Oh, that's a great race for that song wow. there. That was a, like looked like a hard hit right there at the end. Yeah, it did. Wow. Fracture wow. Chain has won the Daytona 500. Congrats to him. Congrats. He deserved that. He did a good race. He did a good race. He did. He did do a very good race. Fracture chain. Fracture 23. How about the 34 finishing third in the in the, the nine car? How about the nine? How about the five car surviving at the end? And then of course the 31 who had lagged out earlier gets a sixth place finish for the final stage. An amazing deal. Thanks for watching, and next up is Thanks the Speed Report with Speedy and Speed B. It's been Cookie broadcasting the KMR Paintbrush Paints, Daytona 500.